And in visible disability is is a disability that the average person may not recognize. There are many types of invisible disabilities, um, and they're a very difficult disability for many parents to navigate. My son doesn't necessarily um, alert you visually when you know you, you see him approaching. You wouldn't necessarily think that there's anything going on. When you look at her, you see nothing. She looks like every other young adult out there. Um, so growing up was challenging because she had a lot of different behaviors. Social interactions were very different for her. Social boundaries um, were not there. Many people don't recognize invisible disabilities and that is really a problem because if my child is not interacting well with your child, people may think that he's just not a good child. As my daughter was growing up, there were many times when we would be out in public where, again, either the social boundaries weren't there or she would get upset about something and she would yell and scream or she would run and people would just stare at us. I guess I've been afraid that he could have some sort of tantrum and uh, onlookers won't understand and uh, you know, it, it could simply look like uh, two people having a fight or something like this. So people ask me, why do you why do you take Peyton out in public if you know that she could have, um, you know, behaviors, yelling and screaming, hitting, whatever it might be? The reality is, I can't bubble her. She has a personality. She wants to be around people, and she has a lot of things to teach others in the community. That adult that comes up and tells your child that they're being inappropriate might be taken aside and say, here's my child's situation. If you have that opportunity, let them know. It can be a learning tool for them. And um, certainly let the people in your community understand that your child has a disability. People are gonna be judgmental because they don't know. And maybe sometimes it's not that they don't wanna help, but they don't know how to help. It took me a while to um understand that I wasn't going to be able to give every onlooker an autism seminar on the spot and manage the behavior and get where I needed to go and do all of that. So um, I've just realized that I needed to be kind of unapologetic and, uh, and simply uh, focus on what I'm needing to do. While we can't always plan in advance for the things that are going to happen with our children, if we do the best we can in educating them on how to navigate the world. I think most situations will turn out better. The fact that my son doesn't always present as, as being someone that's different or, or has um, autism or any disability gives us that cloak of invisibility at times and that's appreciated because um, you know, we all just sort of want to feel like us, you know, just like it's just us. And um, we're just a family, we're just relatively normal people.